When we started the competition, we were just two and a half years old as a company. And so we were just getting our feet wet and building a team, overcoming engineering challenges and business challenges. We think we can probably write a book about everything we've faced, but yeah, it's been interesting. How can I reach a state of Zen on a bed of pollution? Back in 2015, the NRG Kosia Carbon X Prize was launched as a $20 million prize. And today, there are just 10 finalists left. Plastic. It's part of our everyday lives, and it's no secret that it damages our planet, polluting our oceans, and releasing harmful emissions. But what if there was a way that we could still make it and reduce emissions? Meet Team Carbon Upcycling Technologies from Calgary, Canada. We're working on a process to convert carbon emissions into solid products for use in construction, plastics, and a few other industries. They have figured out how to make some surprising products using waste streams, including CO2, as key ingredients. We have been working a lot on consumer products like yoga mats, like coasters, like necklaces and watches that actually have embedded carbon in them. It starts with captured CO2, which is fed into a large drum and combined with solid powders, such as fly ash, talc, and even recycled glass. The CO2 is trapped into the solid powders, resulting in CO2-enhanced materials, which are used as additives in many industries, such as concrete, plastics, and consumer products. We've been burning coal and natural gas since the late 1760s. So we're trying to take emissions, not just by what we're doing today, but even in the last 250 years, and trying to make that into a material that can actually be used for the next 50 or 100. If we can take the waste of the past to make the material of the future, that conceptually is something that a lot of people have been excited about.